Hi guys, welcome to Book is Shayla. Today is day 21 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life Series 15. And we are doing a lovely sketch by Tara Van Morsel. Um, lots of layers, which I love. One photo. So let me show you what I've done so far. I took a piece of cardstock from my stash and then I took a piece of Paper. All of my paper is going to come from this paper studio um, paper pad called I'd Rather Be Hunting. And it's several years old, 2011. So I took this wood grain from there. And then I had a bunch of scraps from previous layouts. And that is what I used for my pieces that's going to go behind. So I have this stripe that's going to be the big piece. I have this bullseye which is going to go like that i have this leaf which is going to go like that it's going to be better of course i have this burlap which is going to go like that and then i have this camouflage which is going to be my last layer so let me let me show you my picture this is i have it covered so you don't have to see the deer. Um, I have this picture of my husband with the deer he shot bow hunting back in 2018. Um, is a nice size bow deer. So let me ink these. I'm going to ink them in saddle because I did some stamping and that's the color I used for my stamps. So let's go ahead and get these down. And I don't really have the measurements for these because I just cut them and because like I said, they were all scraps except a couple of them were scraps. And so I just cut them with the, uh, with whatever size scrap I thought would look okay. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna line this up up here so I'm not gonna use my T-square, which will probably be a mistake because, you know, well, maybe. Okay. I did cut this a little too short, but it's all right. I will live with it. I wish it was a little longer though. Okay. And then this one. And I'm not using my dauber because I didn't think about it until just now. <laughs> I was trying to do better using my dauber instead of just. Inking it like I always do. Okay. Um, I did cut a full sheet with the bow or with the bullseye and with the leaf because I needed a couple of more. And, uh, I needed to bring a little more orange in, so that is what I did. It's gonna go like so. And this is gonna go. Why? My tape runner's kind of been giving me fits. It doesn't want to go, which usually means it's about empty, which would not surprise me. And then my camouflage. Okay, so there's my layers. Now she has a three and a half by five. I cut my down as much as I could, but it is not that small. So I'm going to put it, and I just backed it on a piece of brown that I had had in my scraps. I'm 
rough those edges up a little bit. And I'm gonna put it about there. That way you can still see all the different papers that I used. Okay, now let me show you what I have. I have a deer that I stamped using this stamp set, stamp set from close to my heart that's called Gone Hunting Day to Day. I stamped this title that says Eat, Sleep, Hunt. You know what I just remembered I was going to do? <laughs> I was going to put all of this on this other side so I could embellish on here. Because <laughs> my deer, I didn't want it looking off. To the side of the page so there I'm just gonna flip it over so I have my deer here I have my title here I also have a couple of stickers this one is from Karen Foster from doesn't have a year on it it's called the hunt um sweet bow hunting skills I'm gonna use that one um, might use this rugged country too. So I have these two. That I'm just going to stick here on my mat, on my glass mat. Then I have these. These are dazzles. And there is a deer head and some antlers that I can use there. And that's all I have pulled. I am... Um, really didn't pull a hot pull up to go with this her uh layout tara's sketch i mean is pretty straightforward and i my layout is going to be very similar just because i didn't have a whole lot of stuff to use as embellishments and i just didn't really want to take away from the picture so let's see i could put eat sleep hunt and the deer here and then she has a couple of labels I was kind of looking to see if I have any labels that would look okay and I really don't have any in this color that I can find oh well there's that's just too bright I either have like dark green or bright green I don't have any brown Just don't really have um let's see okay it's just gonna have to be so I think I'll put rugged country and I am going to kind of layer my title on some of this scrap paper. to give it a little a little more dimension in fact I may do a uh, a you know what it's called I might pop it up even Foam tape there, whatever you want to call it. So. Like that. Yeah, I like that better. Yep, there we go. And I think I do want to foam tape it though.
There we go. Okay. So I'm going to put that like this. My deer is going to go down here. My big buck. Then I'm going to put my sweet hunting bow hunting skills here. My rugged country. Let me go ahead and get this glued down so I don't put it in the wrong spot. Let's not put it upside down. Okay. So put this like this. Then I can put rugged country up here like so. Okay. And then let me see if I have anything, little thing that I can put just kind of around here. Um, there's some leaves. Some little bitty leaves I could tuck in and put or put on top of here. I would love to use this up, but don't really have any place that I can put this happy camper because he does not camp when he, because this was not when he was hunting in Colorado or he, I could put it down there if it was that. Okay. So that I'm going to have like this little leafy thing coming out of here. And I have this little swirl bit. from here or you can just see the little bit of it like that um, I have a paddle I have these two deer antlers I could put the antlers on here maybe if I could get them off you know what I think I'll put this somewhere else so I could put the antlers Kind of under here like so. And there is another deer head on here, but since I have this big deer head, or this big deer, I just don't feel like I really need that deer head on here. So there's not, I'm not gonna quite get them all used up, but. Like that. Like that. So what do I have left on here? I have paddles, which I don't need. I have the deer head and I have happy camper. So that is going to be it for that one. And I think that I'm going to call it good I don't I know it's a pretty simple layout but with all the pattern paper that's going on because of the layers I'm okay with the embellishments being kind of simple so I think I will find some glue dot or not glue dots some enamel dots which I have these right here that would match kind of good enough probably hold on do I have any olive green ones yes I do so I think I'm going to use these glue dots and do that a little bit around and that is going to be my layout and I will let me stamp my date really quickly so I don't forget to do that oh you cannot see that I didn't stamp it very well. Still can't see that. Well, well, oh well, it's okay. 
I'll write it in. Very October 31, 2018. There we go. Yeah, that doesn't look very good, but it'll be okay. This is just for my book. So let me put some glue dots down. Let's do a big one. Medium, little. Big one, medium. little and big one medium little that's not really little but it'll work okay that is going to be my layout. Thank you so much for joining me. Sorry, it was kind of down here and you probably couldn't see the bottom. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Sorry, I'm realizing that this is not tacked down very well. So please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see the rest of 30 Days of Sketches, hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.